Start clapping right now. Hold on, man. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, man. Yeah. Clap for each other, man. We're going to clap for each other, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't here, we ain't here for it with a Dallas legend. With a North Dallas legend. North Dallas. Big, big, big North Dallas business. Yeah. Big North with, Dallas with, business. You know what I'm saying? With SMB. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Trill Fest. Motherfucking shout out Big Tuck, man. Shout out Big. See, like, look, look. Y'all, they talk about the OGs on some other shit. But I'm going to tell you what Tuck did was what the OGs is supposed to be doing. That boy shared his platform with everybody else from the city in the area that had something going on at that time, man. He didn't have to do that. He had 20 minutes. Tuck probably did five. And he shared the other with everybody else, man. So shout out to Tuck, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Big was that, talk. Was that the first time you and Pookie performed together in a while? Uh... Nah, not about now, nah, cause we were forming my uh, birthday party. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Club 113 last Friday, motion, uh, motion Fridays around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean. But uh, that's legendary, bro. yeah, nah. man, real. You know what I'm saying? But as far as on a big, big stage, yeah, yeah that's 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 the first time me and that boy done touched the big stage in a while. Man, let's talk saying? about it because a lot of people saw that. And uh, shout out Tom, shout out uh, uh Spain, shout Spain, out uh, Will. Will. I mean, Fat B, shout out Fat, Fat B, B, you like, know what bro, I'm saying? It was an era that even I, growing up, was able to look back and say, God damn, look at this. And yeah. we, we always joking, not saying jokingly, but we always talked about a Dallas tour, like right. from the Boogie era or whatever, yeah. of putting together like the Dallas hitters to go out there and just hit a tour. And we kind of saw a glimpse of that right say, there. And when I tell you, bitch, you go dumb, you know what I'm saying? Because look, yeah. peep this. I'm on the backside, you know, I'm getting to watch, you know, I'm getting to watch legendary shit. I'm getting to watch A-Ball, MJG, yeah. you know, I'm watching, uh, I didn't get to see Jewel because I had to burn to open up the spot, but I got to watch uh, him, Bun, and a couple other people. But I'm watching the crowd from the side, you know, and the crowd, right. you know, they rocking with them, you know what I mean? They rocking with them, they singing the words when they cut the music and all that shit. Like, I'm like, man, that shit live. Mm. But I promise you, when the Dallas set hit that stage, you know, usually sometimes, the out towners get more love than the in towners inside of them situations. Hell no, nah, man. Nigga. It was complete oh, opposite, bro. Nigga. Complete Seeing opposite. That shit. You know what I mean? Man. And it wasn't once every time another nigga stepped on that stage, they like just went even more dumber. When Tuck came out there, they were like, hell yeah. Uh Tongue, uh, Tongue came behind him, then Fat B came, then me and Pookie came, nigga. then Lil Will came, you know what I'm saying? In Spain, and shit, it just, you know, list goes on. That shit was. Shit was hard, dog. And I ain't even gonna lie. That's not even half the niggas you can pull from this. Hell group. no. Yeah. And then oh, it was only a, a, a one piece of a song a piece. Come on, we all got catalogs. Nigga. You know what I mean? That's a big difference. We all got catalogs. So a Dallas tour is coming. Fuck, 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 fuck that is coming. Yeah. Just be ready for it. You know what I mean? How was that that you felt as far as even seeing that? Because uh, I, it's funny because I talked to um, I talked to Spain and stuff, and he said, man, a lot of stuff I ain't seen a lot of cats. Before, since before I went to jail, yeah, and for a lot of that stuff to get, uh, like now, nah, hey, bro, this more, it's it's bigger than that, it's bigger than this. That's how true. was that to see that come together and the potential of what could be, bro? It was first off, it was perfect time, it's destined, you know what there I mean, go. and it felt beautiful, bro, because like you say, it's it's meant supposed to be, you know what I mean? Like a lot of that shit, man. People grew up, and we had, cause you know, even like. Like, we on some big boy shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? We really trying to bridge some shit and humble some shit and make some shit really work. You know what I mean? That ain't no, uh, like, this just some other shit. This is off camera. A lot of these on you see, like, even with the situation that happened with, uh, you know, like Spain say, he was gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he hadn't seen um, Tom and them niggas since before he left. And, you know, you know the situation on when how Spain left. And you yeah. also know. Uh, how bro was with with the other crew, you know what I'm saying? But on some big boy shit, you know what I'm saying? When we was leaving the uh, uh, tuck dressing room, uh, Spain pulled up on uh, bro on Tom them. He was like, uh, just on some real man shit, bro. Spoke his piece like, bro, say blase blah blase blah, you know. Uh, you know, we grown, blase blah. I was young, blase blah, grown man shit, nigga. This is what we supposed to be doing. Let's take this shit, nigga. It's like, man, you know, it's all love. That's how they responded. It was just like a. It wasn't none of that that kitty shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what we on. We on some big boy shit, you know what I'm saying? So that right there is a statement, you know what I mean? And it's also it's just gonna continue to be more statements on what we got going on, man. Cause we is not playing, dog. Yeah, straight man. up. No, I just want to know how it feels to to have a hit song that's been rocking for years in the city embraces it. Everybody fucks with y'all. Everybody roots for y'all. You know how does that actually feel when the city 
is actually behind y'all and you can feel it. Shit, um, bro, it's love. You know what I'm saying? It's love. Like, so much love. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hard to explain, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to lie. My love, I feel, be a little different when I be out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, how I can explain, like, as far as with my love, like, because it's more than the songs. You know what I mean? They fuck. They love the music. But shit, I'm out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Since a kid. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't watch me grow since I was 14. You know what I mean? And this, with this right. light on. You know what I mean? You know, usually... Niggas come in late or come in whatever, and the lights on them and it's off and it's on them. Like nigga, I've been in, out here and the lights been on since fourteen, bro. Mm-hmm. So that's through the good and the bad, you know what I mean. But I've been out here in these streets with these people, all these artists, all these different type of people. So it's just with me. If it wasn't no music, it's still gonna be love, bro. You know what I mean? I right, still so gonna you, be love. Honestly, honestly, because you're still doing tours all over from Oklahoma to yeah. to Arkansas. You're, you're everywhere. Yeah, still doing tours. <laughs> How does it feel to get the hometown love versus the out of town love? I know yeah, there's a, I know there's pros and cons to both. Bro, look, I don't see nothing but pros, man. Fuck a con. Talk to, what talk, is a con? Fuck the cons. Bro? There ain't no con, nigga. All I see is pros, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because what you do, all right, yeah, they can go outside the city and make love. You know what I mean make make money and shit like that? Yeah, I know niggas be like, fuck the city, let's go outside the city. But nigga, if you can't go, that's just like leaving your house, bro. If you can't go to your house and lay in peace, nigga, you is an unhappy man. Nah, facts. Ain't no, ain't no peace gonna be found in you. You know what I mean? That's so facts. I would rather stay here and make whatever I make here. You know what I'm saying? Than having to go outside of the streets, uh, uh, outside of whatever, and get it. But like I say, being blessed, thanking God, and being just who I am, humble and out here moving, I'm able to be able to get love in the city and outside the city. So it's the double whammy. You know what I mean? Mm. But, but that's what we hear though. But watch what SMB and DMG do. That's what we we, we sharing the platform. Oh, we we, we about spread about that to go shit, all the way through there. We're about to go all the way through there. Yeah. Now, let's start off like this. The last time you came in, uh, you touched base with us. You were fresh home. Fresh home. You uh you had a game plan. It's like I'm all right, I'm about to get back out here. I'm active. Yep. And now we're almost a couple years in to where, you know, you active, you outside. Nigga, yeah. you we it's, actually three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, three. Well, we're three. Two, two and some change. Two and some change. But I'm really gonna I'm I'm just gonna give it that two and the change because remember, keep in mind, I cut off a year. I didn't do nothing for a year when that I came true. home from my fam and then that old other shit uh, as far as halfway house and all that type of shit. You know that what I'm true. saying? So I really only been running two years. But within the two years, yeah. Yeah, how are you in spirits from our last interview on the Real Life Street Stars platform up until now? Based nigga. on what the plans you have for yourself, nigga, I'm up, I'm Talk up, up because the Talk plans done, the plans done change from my picture to the bigger picture. You know what I mean? Bad. And what I mean by that is, um, bro, I fuck around, I fuck with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And like, uh, I was on some, you know, my DMG shit. You know what I'm saying? What me and Doski got going on, pushing and uh, you know, working on my brand and building shit, but. Nigga, I've been fucking with so many different people, so many artists, and then also, you know, uh, family, Stack Mo Fat sitting over there. He's going to come sit in a second. But, like, uh, nigga, we linked up, and we got the shit going on, man. And we got the hottest motherfucking artists in the city. You know what I'm talking Talk about? about talking about, uh, shout out uh, Lil Q900. You know what I'm talking about? And it's like, nigga, Lil yeah, Q. I can rap. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas be talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? About, bro, you need to start rapping and promote and do all that type of shit. Nigga, all that shit is in the works. I be behind the scenes. We all be behind the scenes. We just don't be putting our face on it because I'm not the type of niggas we is. But watch we finna put our face on everything we finna do now. You know what I'm saying? So watch what we do with Lil Q900 and everything else that come up out of this train. Watch what we do with the Club 113. Yeah, nigga started promoting at another club at the dive you know what i'm saying yeah. getting that bitch jump wasn't nobody in that bitch you know what i'm Nigga. saying we got that bitch jumping to where what it is where it's at right now you know what i mean uh, the, and the, we reached the, the new point. austin avenue the, the new, new austin avenue you know what i'm bullshit. saying but then we reached a point where it you know shit one line it up so we don't fall what we did we elevated and we created the new ti you know what i'm yeah. talking about club 113 you know what i mean and, and we got some shit that we building for the City, it's it's in the north, nigga. We north, nigga, shit. But we breaking records at the same time inside this venue that we got. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. And we paying artists. You know what I'm saying? Everybody getting these niggas to come perform and do all this type of shit. We also helping putting bread in these motherfuckers' pockets, taking them on the road, showing them something else. And ain't nobody else got a club where you can go in that bitch and rock and then walk up one door and go into the studio and drop something. You know what I'm saying? Nigga. But that's what I've been doing on that, nigga. And like I say, shit done elevated. 
Last time I talked, I ain't Ooh. had this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't had this. You it's know what I'm talking about? So now, nigga, nigga, fuck just the music, nigga. We working. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? I got that liquor. You know what I'm saying? Rock saw. You know what I'm saying? It's my shit. Y'all fuck with me. It's in our store, specs, wherever. You know what I mean? But I got the rock saw bourbon. Got the rock saw gin. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I just end up pouring up my little uh, last exotic pop. Shout out oh, exotic nigga, pop. You know what I'm saying? Pop, but, they working. Uh, we working the exotic pop shit, so y'all be on the lookout for the exotic pop merch as well as um, the exotic pop uh, premiums and sodas and all other type of shit a nigga working with, man. You know what I mean? We fucking building platforms, bro. You know what I'm saying? And shit. Hey, another thing. Y'all be on the lookout for my motherfucking uh, show, bro. We finna start this show, man. I got my, like, you know, a lot of people been telling me, you know, jump on them podcasts and shit. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm finna do, and I do want y'all to be a part of it, um, is uh, starting in two weeks, I'm gonna start my own podcast. But instead of doing it just a regular podcast, I'm gonna do my shit as a talk show. It's gonna be Motivational Mondays, and we gonna hold it every Monday. It's gonna be at my... uh, it's gonna be at the uh, one, club one thirteen, but I'm on it's free to, free to entry. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna have food, drinks, and stuff, and uh, you know, seats where niggas can sit. So the people that I interview on the platforms, even once I get through giving them what I'm giving them, uh, uh, trying to game up and see what it is. You know, you got people in the audience that can ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having to, you know, tweet it. You know what I mean? And say damn and hope they respond. They can just ask them right there and get a live feedback. You know what I mean? Like trying to game, 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 game all the youngins up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, how hard is it to get into liquor? Shit, dog, very hard. You know what I'm talking about. But you know, um, it ain't it ain't shit hard when you got God on your side and you working. So shit, mm-hmm. I think if you just trying to start, yeah, it might be very hard. Cause like, but how it worked on me, it fell in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Music. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, being um, having the people as a fan. Actually, shout out Money Waters. Money Waters. Money Waters. Money Waters. Yeah. Money Waters. We did a uh, video, you know what I'm saying, called Salad. And we shot it at the Rock Saw Distillery. It's a Dallas based liquor spot, you know what I'm saying? And shit, when we went, the man uh, asked us to do a promo. Uh, shout out Dunn and Will, the uh, short family. They asked us to do a promo video uh, with some pictures and stuff. And, um, you know, they paid us. And then uh, they gave us bottles. And, you know, we all went our separate ways. Shit, I saw something different though. You know what I mean? So I didn't drink my bottles. When he gave me my bottles, I took my bottles and shit, I went to work. Uh nigga, actually I ran into y'all that night. You know, I left straight there. Uh y'all was at uh Never Satisfied doing yeah. the uh Bay Bay thing. You know what I'm saying? I took my bottles, I went up there, brand because I once I found out it was Dallas, I seen where it was making it's Dallas. Oh, we finna pump this Dallas shit. You know what I'm saying? So I went over there, started rocking that shit. Putting it out there, putting it in the fashion show, doing all this type of shit. And then, shit, I went back a week later with pictures, footage, and info. Like, hey, bro, this my liquor, bro. I'm Dallas, bro. We need to go and make this shit work. You know what I'm That's saying? Crazy. And shit, he saw what I done did, the views, followers, and different type of things. Shit, me and, me, me and Mr. Dunn came up with a, a nice, a nice uh, agreement, you know? And shit, it's been running ever since. You know what I mean? Man, I just, for, for you, man, you know, it's inspiring to see you got out. And I feel like you hit the ground running. You came out. You didn't play no games. You came out, dropped a fire album. You came yeah. back with a liquor deal. You got the club jumping. What was it for you that made you be able to do that? Was Did you lean on faith? Did you lean on friends? How were you able, for anybody that's in the same position, how were you able I, just to bounce back? I believe, I, I lean, you know, I, I got big faith. You know what I'm saying? I got big faith, you know, so that's that's not a question. The the it's not about if I'm gonna do it, it's the urgency on how urgent I'm gonna do it. Am I gonna take my time? I'm gonna speed up and shit. And honestly, my nigga stack lit a fire up under my ass one day and I tell him all the yeah, time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was just sitting there talking about some shit, fool. And uh it was when we were doing that knock me up remix. You know what I'm talking about? We we're doing that knock me up remix and we Shout in the to studio. Up remix. Yeah, you know, and uh and but we hadn't did the knock me up remix shit. He was just Mooney, uh shout out Mooney 900. He had the high record and fat like say, bro. Nigga, this shit hot, bro. I'm, I'm finna, I'm finna do a knock for me a remix. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in the studio with him. I'm like, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? He like, I'm gonna get. He start naming like, you know, the Indigos and the, uh, you know, uh, just different artists out the Man, north. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, these are people I'm gonna put on it. And I'm just sitting there, fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking in my mind, like, damn, fool. You don't wanna put me on that hoe, nigga. You don't want me to stamp the knock for me a remix. And he started talking, and I was like, and I, I'm, and, and 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 in it, he was like, uh. You know, he said something throughout the conversation. He was like, man, you know, I'm just, I'm going to put the ones, that's people that's out here working, you know, like niggas out here really building a buzz and shit like that. And in my mind, it clicked like, not on no bullshit, like, damn, I ain't working enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Mm. And shit, nigga, that's all I had to see. You know what I'm talking about? And like, I thank bro all the time about it. He didn't mean nothing by it. He didn't understand what he was doing, but he did what he was supposed to do. And, you know, we friends, bro, you know, iron sharp and iron. You know what I mean? I just, you know, I listened to the signs. I wasn't out, you know what I mean? So shit, nigga, we turn up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, definitely. And shout out to Real Life Jeff, man. Shot the fuck out that motherfucker, man. Knock me up remix. Y'all yeah. go watch the hoe. Now, yeah. you, you touched on it, man. You, you talked about shit that you got lined up up under you, but there has been criticism from bloggers and whatnot and whoever's about the Dallas artists that came before not putting on for the younger niggas, not passing the buck forward. And yeah. Still rapping. yeah. What do you say to that criticism like, I don't. You're supposed to be stop rapping, put on for the young nigga, and that do do just that. This this is why, and, and most of the people you say saying that them the gatekeepers or whatever else the people that feel get off the so gate called. and get get off the gate and get in the field. You know what mm. I'm saying? Get off the gate and get in the field. They gonna come, you know, they gonna come with you when you open the gate. But get off the gate and get in the field and see who's really the niggas out here doing this. You know what mm. I'm saying? That's the difference. That's why they shit do phases. You know what I'm saying? They shit ain't consistent. Bro, we've been popping this shit 26 years, nonstop, bro. You know what I'm saying? And these niggas is getting in it and going one year, nine months, three years, and then acting like they exhausted. They ain't getting no, uh, the city don't support them and all this other stuff. Man, come on, bro. Get up off your ass. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And, and work. Because we doing it. Uh, what, what, what does it take for you to, to see something in an artist and be like, nah, I'm jumping behind that? Because I've seen you personally jump on people's remixes, personally try to help artists. What is it that stands out to you? Bro, um, I ain't just gonna say it's always the music, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's more of the vibe, the the the, the, the energy. Like I could walk past you right now, bro, and feel your energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's gonna tell me, nigga, this a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? He needs some help or it's meant for you to help him. I be listening to the voice, you know what I mean? Just like you got your GPS on when you be driving and say, make a right turn here. When I be walking through life, God be like, say that nigga right there or that female right there, you know what I'm saying? Or try this. Shit, sometimes it might be the devil. I don't know, you know what I mean? But, you know, I hear these voices and I, and, and, and I move and I act on them, you know what I'm saying? And shit, some of this shit go great. Some some shit don't go so great, but I had to see the shit that didn't go so great and it's better it happened when it's at $10 than when it happened when it said a million dollars. So it, it, it works out. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go and touch on it now then. Uh, you had an interesting conversation with Mogul Media. Mm -hmm. Shout out Big D. To Big where D. I really felt that conversation from a stance to where I saw where you were coming from, me personally. As far as what part? Because me and D talk a lot. So y'all talked shit. about what is a a uh, a person's standpoint when it comes to putting an artist on. Yeah. Whether a nigga, if he has a studio and he has the what, the means to put an artist on or should he charge a nigga to say, hey, I see you're talented. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to charge you to come use the studio versus throwing a helping hand out there and maybe talking business and doing something to build an artist up. It was a very interesting conversation about Dallas and Dallas business. Now, yeah. I'm just curious before I even ask where I want to go. From y'all having that conversation, has your thought changed at all? Yeah. Okay. But it, but 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 the actions ain't. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and what I mean by that is, it's like this, bro. Like he's not lying. You know what I mean? There are. And, and, and you're going to see this, bro. You know, there are ungrateful motherfuckers out there. You know what I'm saying? That like the ones that you might let record for free and you might try to help get a buzz and you might put all this work into. And then once they get that or whatever buzz, they might feel like, nigga, you ain't do nothing. I did this all by myself and then they don't want to fuck with you no more. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a double blade sword. But for every one that's like that, you might see 10 good ones, you know what I'm saying? So you just gotta take the good with the bad. You cannot stop, that's just like with dating and relationship. You cannot stop dating because you had one bad relationship, nigga, keep going. And I believe in the process, I believe in the giving back process, and I believe in paying it forward inside my city. So if I lose on two or three artists, that's cool because I'm gonna win on these other artists. And I don't mean win financially on my own gain, I mean win by seeing these niggas financially gain for themselves. you know what I mean? And you yeah. put them in a position to where they can do that, you know what I'm talking about? And shit, um, I understand what bro got going on. Cause you know, I, like I said, I got friends that got studios and shit and I done seen a lot of my friends uh, 
you know, invest a lot of money inside of artists and then the artists <laughs> don't, you know, shit don't go right, you know, and then they don't rap. So they just asked out, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I've seen the pros and the cons in that. I've seen them lose this, but then I've seen them gain something that they didn't even see in sight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's it's a it's a give or take, man. So from from Lucci standpoint, as an up and coming artist, let's just go back to your up and coming artist. All right, standpoint. up and coming artist, give it to me. If I see you have you're talented, yeah, I want to give you studio time to record for free, uh, nigga. Just come do your talent. I'm gonna get engineers for you. If you need beats, I got you. I'm gonna pay for it. But up front, I'm gonna give you this paperwork saying I own the music that you do. I'm gonna give you for free, but I'm gonna own. Let's say I want to own it all. I just want to own seventy five percent of it. See, 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 see. see I want to own seventy five percent of what you do, but I'm gonna give everything for free. But as you put it out, I want to own seventy five percent. See, I think you're looking at it wrong right oh. now, and I'm gonna tell you what I mean. So you're saying you, like how you just said that you like hey. You go find an artist and you tell him, hey, I'm going to do all this stuff for free. I'm just, you just come over here and I'm going to start recording. I'm gonna and doing this. Yeah, okay, but it don't work like that. This is how it works. That artist is already coming in there paying for studio time. Or that artist is already at that club every single week promoting and doing this and this. And you're already seeing him busting his ass 24-7. And now you're going to do is just say, you know, like when a kid trying to come up on the couch. You're just going to give him a boost to help him get up on the couch. But if he was sitting over there, you know what I'm saying? Just bullshit. He ain't nowhere near the couch. That ain't the nigga that I'm finna let get inside the studio and do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's a complete difference type of loss. You know what I'm talking about? You're, you're investing in something that's already moving instead of trying to take something and completely build it. Now, if you take something and completely build it from scratch, yeah, you have all the rights to own every single thing they got going on. But I'm fucking with niggas that's already having motion that needs help. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I was going to say, because the Takashi 6 9 situation was, somebody saw Takashi and said, you look like a rapper. He said, I don't rap. No, come holler at me. And basically built Takashi 6 9 Honestly, Takashi a rat. I don't even want to talk about <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I, we move that. I don't <laughs> fuck with rats. <laughs> I don't no, fuck just, with rats, no, you know what I'm saying? No, they, they Straight up. That would have been, I'm just saying. Straight up. I'm just saying, he was built from now, you just know what? looking at him. Fuck all that shit, yeah. man. <laughs> Speaking of rats, I'm glad you brought up rat, you know what I'm saying? Oh, because right. I ain't never talked about the rats that fuck with me on that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, like, uh, I'm going to give you the game today, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, even with this shit, like, bro, I sit back. Took me a nice little minute to get where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't nowhere near where we want to be, bro. Me and Stack, we got some fucking dreams, bro, that we finna fucking make happen. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you got bullshit niggas in the game, in the industry, fucking shit up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the shit's not cool, man, and how, how, how people play the shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, even me, when I came home, bro, you know, like, even with the... With the white boy that ratted on me, you know what I'm Everybody saying? Supports Everybody supports <laughs> Bro, him. So, so, okay, so Everybody for the people who don't know who he's meaning when they say they support him, you know what I'm saying? Is the credit champ, the white Mike, the credit champ, you know what I'm saying? We cure credit, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Like, nah, nigga, you know what I'm saying? The nigga run around with Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? All these other type of things, bro, you know what I'm saying? That shit is not live, bro. Shit is not cool. You know what I mean? And niggas know I was what say, the maybe fuck they just this don't man know. did. Yeah, maybe they just nah, don't. nigga, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, look, I'm going to give you a true story. How I, I know niggas know? Alley Boy DTE. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know DTE, Alley Boy? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? How they tell? Nigga hit me in my inbox. He say, hey, Lou, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking the nigga calling me because I just dropped my album and shit. And he just reaching back out like, damn, you home, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was on tour with Gotti, I linked in with uh, Alley Boy off inside of um, Atlanta. Did a song with him. It's on uh, my, I don't know which album that was, Deep Off in the Game or one of them. I did a song with him. So I thought he was just like, damn, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I see little bro move. The nigga hit me. I called him. I'm like, what's up with it, bro? A nigga like, hey, uh. He say, you, you, you know this nigga? He say, uh, bro, did this white boy tell on you? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, who? You know what I'm saying? Now, this one thing about me. I ain't never go around telling everybody who, who, who told on me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, you know, I'm bigger than that shit. I told you. I forgave everybody when I came home. I, it wasn't no use to me going over there and saw them out. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, when a nigga called and asked me, I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? So when Alley Boy called and asked me, I told him what it was. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I said, he, I, I said, you know what? Matter of fact, bro, I say, Alley Boy, do this, bro. You know me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nigga, the reason we 
after we talked to you, I ain't seen you all that time because I got locked up right after we left, bro. Nigga turned all the sin. I say, but look at this. Don't even take my word. Call that nigga and ask him. Tell him you just got off the phone with me and call him and ask him. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, because I told him, he was like, man, can you get the paperwork? I'm like, yeah, let me go get the paperwork. I'll send it to you. You know what I'm saying? Just so you can see it. Man, that nigga Allen boy picked up the phone. Man, I swear we hung up. Man, it wasn't even two minutes. That nigga called me right back. Two nigga called me right back, bro. I'm like, what's up with it, bro? I say, what he say? That nigga, we on FaceTime. That nigga say, man, he like, shit, bro. You ain't got to send the paperwork for you. You know what I'm saying? I say, yeah. He say, yeah, man. I, I, I just seen. He, he going he gonna to get out the phone talking about he was all crunk when I called in. I asked about it. He going to say, uh. Hey man, I'm I'm in here eating dinner with my, my with my son and my mama. I'm gonna call you back when I get off home. He was like, man, all the extra shit. You know what I'm saying? But they let niggas like this walk around and do all this other type of shit, man. These are the type of niggas y'all got going around fixing credit, getting everybody social security numbers, everybody government names. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about little TT who hustle. You know what I'm saying? We giving up uh, Ronald McNeil. You know what I mean? Like you know shit that they don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and nigga, they they culture vultures. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of the motherfuckers out here. You know what I'm saying? Like even even it ain't it ain't just niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? The A and R, the the little publicist bitches around here. You know what I'm saying? They act like they doing shit. The 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 the, the, the Collins and all these other motherfuckers robbing people and playing with people businesses and livelihoods. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what it is, bro. We got to get them bitches up out of our mix. You know what I'm talking about? This is the city. We got to put it where it's supposed to be. But when you got people around here doing some fuck shit, bro, that, man, come on. So do you think it's his ethnicity that allows him to keep moving? How? Because it's like... No. It's the dollar. But one thing about a motherfucker who survives on a dollar on paying for friendships, once that dollar's gone, nigga, your friendship's gone, nigga. And you just... Really, you ain't nothing but a motherfucker... Uh, you a slow feeder, nigga. Niggas just eating you until they eat you. You know what I'm saying? They just sucking blood out of you until you eat you because they know what you is. You a payday. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, that's what I look at. That's all I can look at it as, man. Niggas know he he, he giving them money. He doing whatever he got to do to keep it going. But nah, man. I don't fuck, I don't fuck with no, uh, no niggas like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Money shouldn't be able to Money shouldn't be able to uh, work, 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 let rats inside the dope. Not Real man. rats. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, it's definitely, man. Um... And for those, man, that just, you know, that don't know your full story, um, of course, you came through and sat down to interview with us before you even went to go sit down. Yeah. You got out. You know, uh, we did a post interview after you got out. For, for, for your run in the game, man, um, when you look back at everyone that was in your circle, everyone that was moving with you, everyone that was, I'm just curious, like, what would you have done differently, if anything? Well, honestly, fam, I couldn't. I wouldn't have did nothing differently. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Would anything uh, be uh, different? Only thing differently that I would have did was spent money different, because you know, I was in the hustle. You know what I'm saying? I was in the hustle. I would have spent money different. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have done thing. I, I, I learned with the Fed shit. I wouldn't have bought everything cash. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they can't repossess shit. They got uh, loans out on it. You know what I mean? Like if you got a house, they got a loan or your cars. You know, not paid off. You know what I'm saying? They can't re yeah, repossess nothing. I don't nothing. quite own this motherfucker. Yeah, because yeah, that yeah. all belong to the bank. But like, oh shit, you own cash. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like we was talking before, KD left the jury and shit. You know, yeah. like no, that's that's dumb. You know, hundred twenty some thousand dollars and some shit that, like he say, uh, uh, sell back. I was one of the niggas that was selling jury back, not to him, but I went and sold my jury back after I got hit. You know what I'm how, saying? How much jury did you buy overall? Would you say overall probably most? um. Let's see. I had the black set. Uh, I had a black Brightland with the. Um, I had a black black Brightland. That was a. Uh, I had my first thing I bought was a black Brightland, uh, a black diamond um, chain, and uh, with the L. That was the first piece of jewelry I bought. And yeah, uh, uh, Johnny charged me twenty five bands for that hoe. You know what I'm saying? I'm lame as fuck because. Black diamonds ain't worth shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> in retrospect, but, nigga. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know it is what it is. So twenty five with Johnny on the black chain. And 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 and, and it was the name. Then uh, I had the bracelet. You know what I mean. I had a Lucci bracelet, an all black Lucci bracelet. You know what I'm saying. He charged mm -hmm. me seventy five hundred mm -hmm. for that one. You know what I'm talking about. So just say that's like thirty two or whatever with that. Then I uh, went all white. You know what I mean. Uh, my plug actually uh, bought me the uh, the white Roly though. You know what I'm saying. But that was a uh, thirty like thirty twenty eight for the white Roly, and then uh, twenty for my Star City chain. 
And then uh, I had a um, a white um, Deion Sanders Rolex uh, bracelet. You know what I mean? Oh, I had that right there, and that was like another twelve. You know what I mean? And you, shit. You 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 talking like a house? You you weren't a house on you? Dumb shit. Probably a couple houses. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Dumb shit, bro. You know what I mean? But dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. So let's go and go through there, man, because uh, you know, Lucha, your name is. Uh, your, your, your name is synonymous, synonymous with Dallas music. Now, a lot of expectations are put upon you or come from you. Yeah. To say, even in the um, the Yellow Beezy Trap Mo3 situation, they yeah. expect you to land certain ways. Um, and all you did was ever show love to every single individual that came through this motherfucker after you. Yeah. Um, how does it feel for you to be able to put like they they ask they they ask for you to pick sides. They ask for you to do this or do that, but yet you know. And I always love your response to it all because it goes back to just the music. But how does it feel as an individual, as the person, as the man, to be able to say, okay, you're Dallas, you're the OG. Yeah. You're supposed to land somewhere to where you lead fans to do something based on what you say. Yeah, your fans are supposed to side with you on what you feel. Yeah, how does it feel to be putting that, putting that fire, but also to navigate through it? Shit, I mean it's life. It's life. I hate it. I ain't from the lot. You know what I mean? But it, shit, nigga, I, I expect it, nigga, because I I am Dallas. I am that nigga. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I am one of the only ones that 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 fucked with, with that fucks with everybody. Like I say, that's another thing. I am one of the only ones that do that shit. But you know, I, I do I, I do kind of not like it on some shit, you know what I'm saying? But I love it on the other shit. Like what I mean by I don't like it on some shit is because you don't see them out there fucking with CeeLo Green or Big Boy in Atlanta when it's Jeezy and uh at Jeezy and Gucci beef, or it's uh um uh Lil, what's what's my bro that's locked up why I fin Lucci and Young yeah. Thug beef. Yeah. You know, they don't put uh um 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 Big boy in uh, Andre 3000 in that, you know what I mean? They don't put uh, CeeLo Green in that, you know what I mean? Right, or right. Goody Mob in that, you know, niggas that was over that. Like, all these people be tripping, bro, with this internet shit. They got to understand, bro, it is a 12 to 13 year age different gap between us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it is what it is. Now, do not get it twisted. I'm North Dallas to the core. You know what I mean? I'm North Dallas to the core. That's what made me. But I am Dallas as a whole because... I don't give a damn what nobody say, bro. Fuck all the extra shit. Niggas know, bro. I don't pop shit. I'm humble. I keep it how it is, bro. But everybody know it. Nigga, nigga, me and Pookie created some shit that wasn't created at the time that it was yeah. created, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's niggas still to this day gaining and learning off of off of a style in a way that we created. You know what I'm talking about? Like, nigga, one of the greatest rappers out of the city ever, nigga. Is, is a nigga that emulated my style, took my style and elevated to a whole nother thing, nigga. Now you can ask anybody. It, it ain't no disrespect. It's no, love. It's, it's you know what I'm said. saying? Yeah, it's it's love. But no, nigga. Mo3, nigga, is 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 a crook baby, bro. No, he's he a product it. of that. Lucy you know what I'm saying? My nigga. So, and, I, I took that. So, nigga, I'm trying to run that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. And, and it's like, uh, I don't. I, I, I expect that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm out here, bro. And I'm in the field with these artists. So, and I support all the artists, you know what I mean? Because I watch them, fam. See, these niggas, like I say, with, with these niggas, yeah, it's easy for them to pick sides, bro, because they never had a side in the beginning. You know what I mean? They didn't fuck with these dudes in the beginning, so it's easy for them to either not fuck with them or fuck with them, bro. I ain't like that because I got personal relationships with all of them, fool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of them I got personal relationships with, and it's different. Like, I know bro got on that shit talking about saying some shit like, oh, man, uh, 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 um, you know, uh, Rain was on there talking about like, hey, um, you know, Mo3 got out there, man, he said your name on Tyson. He goes, showed you love and this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and But I'm not being on no bullshit. Do you know how many artists in the city look up to me and tell me that I'm their favorite rapper, bro? So you cannot tell me just because this rapper who is more successful, you know what I'm saying? And, and another rapper who is not so successful, they both look up to me and I have to choose a side. You can't tell me that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, even with, uh, you know, like, you know, they all pay homage, bro. Shit, Yellow got, Yellow got Stony Crook tatted on him. You know what I'm saying? He got the Crook Talk man tatted on him. No, you know Talk what I'm saying? It. So it's not like, nigga, I am my city, bro. 
So I don't give a fuck about the bloggers. I don't give a fuck about the managers. I don't give a fuck about the people that want to say what they say, fool, because the difference is, nigga, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? Every week, every day, they're not. You know what I'm saying? So they can duck and hide, nigga. I'm out here fucking with these people, bro. And that's why my shit's going to last forever. It's going to go way farther than any of these other niggas, bro. And I ain't even started, bro. Do you think this shit will ever get back to the music? Because it seems like whenever anything that music we listen to, we just have to get somebody's opinion on it. Or we got to know what this nigga think or how this nigga feel about it over here. Let me tell you this. It'll get back to the music when the music business get back to the music. Sure music business know. ain't on the music no more, nigga. It don't give a fuck about the music. It's about yeah. what you can provide, what you can do, what type of shit you can pop. They really bind into the image of the person. So the niggas that's characters that can get out here and do character type shit, they are seeing the success. You know what I'm saying? Some people call it playing the game. You know what I mean? You know, back in the day, bro, when we was growing up, capping, all the shit that they do right now, that was called capping, fool. You know, oh, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. we we shun niggas that cap. Oh, high capping ass nigga. That's where high capping came from. Yes. A nigga that brags. Now it's the complete opposite. It's about nothing but bragging. You know what I'm saying? And doing that shit. So the people that's willing to play those games and shit. See, it's hard for me to do that internet type beef shit, bro, because all those back and forth with the blogs and different type of shit and, and get into it because um, I come from a different era, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to see you, fam. You know what I'm saying? That's why I respect what I say on shit and, and, and different type of stuff because I'm going to see these people. You know what I mean? And nigga, respect what you say about me because you're going to see me, fam. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and some, But some people... They can sit on, man, I, I was on, um, what's the name shit one day? I was on um, Sko and Go shit one day. Shout out Sko. Yeah, I was on his shit cool. one day. And uh, it was it was, it was was me, him, Dallas Global, Sky, some other people on there. And they was on this chat room, bro. And they talking that shit. And one nigga, uh, the nigga out of, the nigga who, you, I guess he used to be Charles White, friend, I don't know, the, 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 the light-skinned nigga out of, uh, say he do a lot of business out of the Fort Worth or whatever. I'm gonna catch down in three, two. Yeah, so they was on the uh on there with Sko and Go, and the nigga from like I say, the bald head nigga, he on there with Dallas Global, like nigga, suck my dick, suck my dick, blase this, 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 this. I'm like, and and you know, bro laughing and shit, but they're like, I got off. I said, oh nah, y'all niggas, y'all, y'all too, you know, I got off that shit. See, I don't I, you can't you play shit. like that yeah. shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like can't play like that shit, bro. I don't like I don't like all that negative shit, bro. And yeah, and niggas be painting my city in a negative way, bro. The city is not fucked up, bro. The city is not. You know what I'm saying? The city supports each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like the city really does support, fam. You know what I'm saying? And then like even with bro, them be talking about like, you know, rest in peace, my nigga Mo fool. You know, like you know they be always saying he don't get the love that he deserve out here in the city, fool. But I'm gonna tell you straight up, nigga, in the camera, in the world, in the eyes, nigga. Don't no artist get love like that nigga get out here, fool. Like, still to this day. They play that man shit, fool, nigga. The club going dumb, nigga. Every word for word. I don't give a fuck if he rapping fast or he singing, fam. And that's anywhere he goes. You know what I'm saying? Now, the radio station or this, this, this. Fuck them. That's the artist problem, bro. Y'all were the. Fuck them, nigga. You in the streets, you got a way to create your own wave, fam. Radio ain't shit but icing on the cake, fam. It's just icing on the cake. But yeah, the cake that, still that just... extra little glitz. Yeah, that's it. But the radio don't work unless the cake already baked. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Talk about it. But, oh, no. but do you think, though, like if somebody has something going, that the radio should elevate them? Yes. Them? Yes. But, but. They weren't supporting bro back then, and he accomplished everything he did. So why should it change now? You didn't need him then, so don't worry about them now, bro. They might come around. It may be 10 years later where they playing bro shit. You know, people got time, need time to grow, or they might never not pay. You know what I'm saying? Or it's just a certain payment that they want. I don't know, but. They almost kind of forced their hand. Like, yeah, God damn it. I'm kind of so hot. I'm dead. So hot. Say, the fuck you don't see? Look, what the fuck is going on? I know, bro, but like, like I say, Nigga, they playing the pilot, they playing the game. You know what I'm saying? And we crashing out. 
They playing the long game, bro. Niggas need to start just playing the long game and understanding that you still control your shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, control, bro, 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 control shit, fool. You as an artist, you control shit, man. You can still control shit. All right, so I got to ask you, um, now mind you, Lucci, uh, we did an interview with Kevin A. Uh, when that bitch coming out? It has not come out yet. Yeah. But it's very interesting. It's very long. And he goes all the way through there. Yes, man. So, Look, go ahead. Because yeah, I wanted to ask you with this last interview because this interview has been done before then. Yeah, give it to um, me. What is your status right now with Kevin A? And how do you grade him as a manager, producer of y'all era? All right. Me and, his, uh, me and his status, we cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm always cool, bro, because I ain't right. the one to fuck up when they walk out. So I'm always cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. But... um. Uh, he working right now, man. We actually was finna do some shit real big, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, he told us. Yeah, but one thing about it, dog. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Hey, it's in your genes, man. If it's in you, it's in you. You is know it, what I'm is talking it, about? Is it, hard, is, is, it, is it hard to put trust right there, though? Is it hard to put trust? And uh, like a situation with that, like y'all putting some. No, because I don't. That, that's the best thing. That's the best thing. No, because I don't trust him from for shit. So nigga, it's straight business. Right. You know what I'm saying? At, at, at first, it was trust to where I'm gonna let this shit slide, let this shit slide, because I trust you, and we gonna make work. Fuck all that shit, nigga. And that's why he ain't sitting right here on the couch with me, bro. Because nigga, we was really close. Yeah. Nah, like I said, I grew up, nigga. We went and chopped it up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I fucked up in the in in in, in back in the day by just walking off. I should have been business. And right. once I found out what he was doing, I should have went back and worked that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Young artists, listen, work the shit out. Yeah. If it can be worked out, work yeah, it out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm so, saying? So, so from your perspective, right? Because yeah. when you see it, you're gonna hear his perspective on why things fell through. What yeah. is your take on what happened to make it things fall through. I feel like greed took over. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He was he was already shysty on some shit. You know what I mean? And then once he burnt his bridge, because before he screwed us, he screwed Mr. Blues. Rest in peace, Mr. Blues. You know what I'm saying? So if if uh if Mr. Blues would not have Mr. Blues and another silent partner, if they would not have invested the money into Kevin A, you know what I mean? There would be no Pookie or Lucci. You know what I'm saying? And so his deal was, hey, they gave him 50 grand. Get us our money back. If you get a deal, we get to we get we get double our money and we get to buy back into the new deal on whatever. Like if you get a major deal, because that was the whole thing. You know what I'm the saying? Major deal, yeah. yeah. And that shit came and he cut them niggas out. He gave them, uh, uh, he gave the niggas the money back, yeah, but then he cut them off. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then that's when everything went sour on our end because what he did not expect them to do was uh, file a lawsuit, which froze out his assets, which froze out his assets, which stopped the movement of the Stony Crook movement. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Damn. To where you know that's when shit started really popping do, out. Do you understand, like from a business standpoint, where he was coming from, dealing with uh, uh, Suge Knight, dealing with what the master? This was the Master P era. To where independent artists, you can make a lot of money in this music game. Blockbuster music, Sam Goody. Bro. It's a, it's a lot of money in it. The nigga made money, fool. No, no, nigga. I'm saying, do you understand where he was probably coming from or going based on knowing well, the business now? I mean, listen, he, like you just said, bro, uh, he always, you know, he always spoke highly of Suge Knight. That was his role model. You know what right. I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? It was fuckery. When that's me being dumb, 15, not really realizing who what type of nigga Suge Knight is, you know what I'm saying? And you yeah. saying you want to build your company off of it. And 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 that's what it was. He was just on some fuckery shit, bro. You know? Now you have you have a there's a clip going around saying that y'all sold about three hundred and thirty thousand copies. Mm -hmm. And when you see people like the baby sell thirty thousand and uh <laughs> sweetie sell two thousand copies. Yeah, but that's one week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, but I'm just saying in general, yeah. like you probably over the course of the uh, the span of your music have yeah. sold more than maybe some of these quote Major unquote bigger ass. artists. Yeah. How do you look at the game now? Do you think the game is like super fabricated? These numbers that coming back so small, but they have millions of followers. What do you attribute that to? Oh, I think the I think I think the game honestly is uh is is, is uh those numbers don't they really don't matter no more because you can buy them. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I don't like even believing like when, when me and uh, Stack to be having uh, conversations like, that's why I really don't like buying into 
the, the, the shit because you don't really see where your real audience is. You know what I'm saying? You don't really know who's really fans or who's really viewing it, what city's really viewing it, what city's really not, because you got a whole lot of a bullshit mixed yeah. off in there. But see, me coming from the ground, actually putting all my money into it and actually trying to work my region and my markets, I'm watching my analytics. So I don't want to muffle my analytics. If my shit is saying Denver, uh, uh, Denver, Colorado is bringing me my most traction, I need to know that them is my real fans because that's where I'm finna spend more budget at and spend it around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to go up there. But if it's saying that Albuquerque, New Mexico is your shit and then you go down there and book a show and don't nobody show up, now nah, that's them bots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, I saw Bobby Smurda going off uh, uh, not too long ago um, on, on the internet and shit talking about how, 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 how the people is buying them um, the, them ads and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's fake and fabricated. So I don't think people really still, they got true fans who do buy music, but I don't think the people who music is getting bought are the ones that they got on the forefront. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't think the A-list artists are the niggas that's actually selling the units. So shit, so, 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 artists can just get back out on the street and, and start selling merch or something. Like, yeah, to see, that's that's the thing about it though. Yeah. Pick this, that's the thing about it though, bro. It's in the game. It's almost to the game now. Fucking with that club business, fat. I just thought about this now. Fucking right. with the club business, how it is. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's just like letting the people come in for free. Get in the dough for free, but they gonna spend money at the bar on on the food. And what that means is, let them get them streams, let them get them what's the names, but they gonna pay you for the concerts and they gonna pay you for the merch. Right, yeah. Now you have to capitalize off of it, bro. It's a win in every situation. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta capitalize off of it. And I think a lot of people aren't capitalized off of it. That's why we popping them. And, and, and for you, like, just you know, now that we can stream, it's a lot of niggas that probably couldn't get a Mr. Lucci CD that can now. Yeah, like, that can seen, now. Like a lot of yep. niggas double back and, and actually stream the old shit and be like, I'm a fan now. For yeah, hey, peep this. Like when y'all talking about when I be moving and going around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of my shit do be old shit, but it's crazy that I go and it be people that only the first song they ever heard was certified. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So they be like, Are you serious? Yeah, promised hands down. You know what I'm saying? Because you went viral. First, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, the fact. That, that, yeah, like that's their yeah, that one viral. Shit. But, but they, they, they saying this is the first thing they ever heard. They never heard none of the old shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Dude. And it's weird because some of my new fans that come in, they don't, they like the new shit. They don't like the old shit. You know what I'm saying? I like the slow but rapping, then, Lucha. I like him to like pronunciate every word. Yeah, right? every yeah, me too. You know what I'm saying? But it's hey, you know, you know, I, I just you know, but you know how that shit is. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I just make the music, man. I just make music. Yay, I make music for the soul, man. You know, I, I and it's another thing, you know. I don't, I don't do um niggas know me, dog. You know what I'm saying? So I say what need to be said and don't need to be said. So I do the same thing with the music. I don't let you tell me what you want to hear. Sometimes I just put out what I feel like the world needs or what's in me that needs to be heard. You know what I'm saying? And so that's how I do that with that music, man. So I got to ask you, um, you came in the game at 14 years old to stupid superstar. This is in the 90s. Yeah. 1997 to be exact. 1997. Mind you, Biggie just... Passed a year before. Yeah. Pac died a year before that. Yep, I cried. And rap ain't seen a lot of death. Mm -hmm. But since then, it seems like it's hard for a rapper to even make 30 years old now. They don't even look, they don't, it's like they don't want like, to see 30 years if, old. If you get in that 18, 19, it's almost like your life expectancy might be 10 years. Yeah. Based on the way rap is currently is and currently going. Um, yeah. Bro. What are your thoughts when you see like coming from that era to where this artistry could get you to where you could see things you've never seen before in life to I, where almost your life is cut short just by doing this business? Yeah. I, 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 I hate that what it's done turned into. You know what I mean? Because I really feel like it was one of those situations where this was really made to help us get out of the streets make better ways for our family providing stuff like that and which it still is because there's still a lot for every artist that's that's losing a life and is you know that the, the shit's destroying it's other artists out here that it's building and helping their legacy and their family and different type of stuff like that so i hate i feel like it falls on we can say us ogs and some other people as far as on some of the guidance that some of these youngsters are losing on and i know for a fact bro some of these it, they don't want to hear shit we got to say. You know what I'm talking about? They're they not trying to hear it because 
they're in that mode where we were at when we weren't trying to hear shit other people say. You know what I'm saying? But God blessed us to be able to go longevity and live. You know what I'm saying? The importance of living. Look, all these artists always be trying to die and go fast and all that type of shit. I was telling somebody else this. I'm, I just just real quick. This is the, the importance of just show how longevity goes. I'm going to use two people real quick. Tupac, fool. Tupac was the greatest rapper of, of his era at that time. Had West Coast, everything. Can't nobody fuck with Tupac, fool. Snoop them was around and Dre was around. And I don't care how many albums Dog Pound sold, Snoop was not Tupac. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't him. You know what I'm talking about? Bam. 26 years old. Tupac's gone. All right? Now let's fast forward. 50, 50, 50, now Snoop, 50, 50, 52, 53, whatever he is right now, bigger than Tupac would ever, has ever been. You know what I'm saying? He cannot gain the type of shit that Snoop is at right now. But it took time. If those years, if Snoop wouldn't have had to be able to go through 30, through 40, he wouldn't be doing shit with the Martha Stewart, with 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 uh the Super Bowl, with this and the NFTs and all the shit he's doing. You know what I'm talking about? It was time to help them do that. Zoop zoop back forward, take it to the East Coast, Biggie. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, greatest ever. You know, Jay-Z was nobody. You know what I'm talking about? Biggie died, life course short. Great records, all that type of shit. Jay-Z had time to live, grow, learn, expand. And now he is bigger than any artist has ever been. You feel me? As far as on the on that stand pitch. So growing old is very important with your purpose in life. You know what I'm talking about? And artists need to understand that that quick shit that they trying to do is longevity, baby. Y'all say whatever y'all want to say about me. I done made it to 40. You know what I'm talking about? I done been through all type of shit in these streets. I done went inside that bitch, sat down, closed my mouth, came out, doing this shit the hard way from scratch. You know what I'm talking about? With no handouts. You know what I'm saying? And fucking with people that's fucking with me, bro. So it's like, nigga. Here we are. You know what I mean? Uh, shit. Yeah. You know, you know uh, what I can say is some positive things I've seen um, is that older artists are starting to get their flowers more. They're starting to be able to resurge and come back out. And what we, because what we see is like, the artists come out and be big and they, then they just fall off or they go out of style for whatever that is. But now you see like Jeezy's have been able to come back. Yeah. Rick Ross been able to come back. Rich homie Quan, artists that you thought, we thought was like, oh, that, that's whack now, whatever. And now they're coming back and being able to still be able to be relevant in hip hop. They didn't quit. They didn't quit. If they would have quit it, they would be irrelevant, how they say it. You know what I'm saying? I call, Yeah, they could say you could end at the top, but that shit don't really mean that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nigga. They didn't quit, and they kept working. You know what I'm talking about? So, growth. Growth. You know what I'm saying? No, definitely. Now, I'm going to give you a chance to respond to this, because academics have said it. As far like, as? These old rappers are just dusty. They ain't got no yeah. money. They just look old and shit. They're not relevant. Uh, and he was talking about rappers 20 years in a game that don't look he's talking about from the early eight the late eighties, early nineties. They look like nothing. Now Lucha come in looking like motherfucking money. What do you say to uh, art, someone like academics who's new to this hip hop world as far as getting the younger niggas that has questions about the those that came before him? Well, First off, I just, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I don't really know academics, you know what I'm saying? Like, like as far as talking about, but, yeah. nigga, fuck all that negative shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? First and foremost. This nigga, yeah, fuck all the negative shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing, saying to ba nothing bad to say about him, but I ain't got nothing good to say about him, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got a platform, you know what I mean? You supposed to use these platforms to build, you know what I'm talking about? See, we at this point right now where it's clickbait. Reels, whatever's gonna bring me the most views, bring me the most money. Line in your pockets could be killing the next person, fool. So some of that shit that you post and spread and move and shit like that, nigga, you play a big part inside of some of this shit that's going on out here too. You can't just uh, post some shit and then put your hand back like, well, I didn't do it. All I did was post it. Bro, uh, even even you got no no real deal. Even even with real life, bro, I know for a fact, fool, because I I you know I know y'all since here. kids. Yeah. You know that's not that I'm out here. This got nothing to do with me. I've known y'all since kids. I know. On certain things, I guarantee y'all got certain stories, certain shit y'all could post that y'all know for a fact that'll cause some trouble. That y'all be like, you know what, nah, we're not finna do that right now. This this right here done kicked in, conscience done kicked in, like, nah, you know what, we're gonna start some shit with this. We ain't finna do this, you know what I'm saying? But we could get rich easily. Our page will be popping. 
but damn, we gonna set some shit out. You know what I'm saying? So you take a more stand at certain points. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I don't see them niggas doing none of that at all. You know what I'm saying? And it's like um, I don't even understand his 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 his, his uh, logic of thinking. But it's not for me to understand. He got his own purpose. I got mine. So I have to ask you then, uh, just your thoughts process because a lot of people may not have known Lucci through the music. But through the social media, through the blogs, through the interviews, yeah. they're learning you. Yeah. And they're saying, hey, this is my introduction to him because I'm a young crowd and I'm just now knowing you. How important do you feel is the social media aspect and the blogging aspect of this game is to the hip hop industry? Bro, it's 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 a hundred percent. No social media, no music. Give a goddamn how hard you is. No social media presence. You're done. You're done. You know what I'm saying? No social media. You're done, bro. I really feel like that. That social media is a gift and a curse. Man, KD just said it though. But when he when he walked out, bro, the power of the tongue, fool. What you use that social media for? You know what I'm talking about, nigga? You gonna get out what you put in it, and you, that shit's gonna come back. Whatever you send some love out, you gonna get some love back, nigga. You send that bullshit out, nigga. It's coming back. You know what I'm saying? It's coming back hard. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just think these the, the younger generation, they really got to fuck with you as the person to right. fuck with the music. It seems so like it's like they really yeah. want to know what you stand like, on type of yeah, shit. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? So they, like like some of them, oh, uh, some of the artists we grew up on, we have no idea what the fuck they stood for. None of that. Like yeah. you see LeBron stiff on certain shit. We see Michael Jordan stand up for shit. So it's like, it's just a different day and age, I feel. You know? So I have to ask, so... <laughs> When you seen the North Dallas OGs come through and make a stance against Mo Three, what, what, you weren't there for that. But what were your thoughts when you seen that happen? I ain't like it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not like, gonna lie, I laugh. You say you don't like it. What was it about it that made it like ah? Uh, because same. because that ain't what the now feels, fam. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, there you go. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't what the now feels. Like one thing about it. Uh, before I left, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bro, song was out, half stepping was booming, you know what I'm saying? We shot the video on the lane, we shot the video in the crook, you know what I'm there saying? So, niggas was having traction with it, you know what I'm talking about? Now, what happened after I left, I really don't know, but I didn't have to be there, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Stack was there, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Stack didn't change, <laughs> no, him, and, him and him and him and Mo stayed the same, you know what I'm Rats. saying? Same way it was when I came home, so. I can't really speak because I, I don't really do not know what all went on. You know what I'm saying? And once I came home, it really was irrelevant because it was already done. You know what I mean? So I'm really not trying to hear the reasons y'all did it. But, nigga, we got to stand up behind behind our side. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a family, bro. You know what I mean? Like, y'all fight inside the house. But when y'all go outside the house, nigga, nigga, it's still the don't family. Get, yeah, don't you know what I'm saying? So, so, so I, didn't, I, I didn't like that. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't like that. Like I say, I do not know the details on what they had, but nah, man, now Dallas, dog, we standing on now Dallas business, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't get along, but we standing on now Dallas business. So I just, uh, I feel like niggas should have, um, it don't even matter what they didn't do. We doing now, nigga. We standing on it. Long little three. You know what I'm saying, nigga? That nigga, I rep that nigga on every fucking thing I do. And I still walk around it. So everywhere I go, you know what I mean? Because niggas know why I'm repping, how I'm repping, and what I'm repping for. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Long live three. Now I got to ask, uh, you know, it's been a long time since, uh, you know, I'm a Papa Dilla, nigga. Feel the rip. Yeah. A lot of shit has changed on, on a Dilla and Forest Lane since then. I, I drove by sharks the other day trying to go get some sharks, and that hoe was no longer there. No, nah, they didn't turn that hoe to a I park. said, what the fuck? Yeah, they didn't sharks turn, is gone? They didn't turn that to a park. I you said, oh, shit, they didn't move it up the, up the road yeah, or some shit. Said, yep. So I'm like, what are, your, what are your thoughts on North Dallas changing the whole infrastructure of what North Dallas is I, and was? I mean, I, I hate that it's some monumental spots that's being taken down, but at the same time, we're growing. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of yeah. motherfuckers is coming out here. We growing. You know what I'm saying? So, man, uh, nigga, I'm out with the progress, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, look, same way. It's still no doubt. No yeah, doubt. hey, look, it's still not that. Hey, look, you same way you saying it. Look, bro, it's the same way the music shit is going with the younger generation, with the music and different type of shit. The structures are rebuilding and changing, but nigga, it's still North Dallas shit. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, it's. You know, hell, I'm with it, nigga. I'm not, I don't give a goddamn what they do. I'm with it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's in the north. How do you, you know, we talk about North Dallas often. Um, well, everybody from the, everybody from that side talks about that side. But um, 
what are some of the things that make you still like put that bitch on your shoulder and be like, you yeah. know, I'm still repping, I'm still yeah, carrying this. Shit, that shit made me, dog. What do you mean? That shit gave me everything I am. You know what I'm saying? The the, the good and the bad. The the the, the wins, the ass whoopings. Because I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you still root for you still root for Lake Collins like as a yeah, nigga. Team? Even though I ain't graduate from that bitch, I'm Lake Collins like a motherfucker. <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Shit, class old one, nigga. Okay. What the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? No, okay. because the knife gave a lot, but it took a lot from. Me. Yeah, you it know, did. A lot of niggas would be like, nigga, I'm in, nigga, I'm somewhere else now. Let me ask you this though. You say it, it took, it gave a lot to you and it took a lot from you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But where you're standing right now is farther than where you were, right? Amen. Exactly. Mm. You know right. what I'm saying? So, so, I mean, it is what it is, bro. It's our hood, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You can't run from that shit, bro. That's why it'd be such a disconnect. Like, I ain't gonna lie, these little young niggas is wild, fam. But they ain't no wilder than we was, bro. They just don't have access, man. Niggas act like they don't love them. They like they and old niggas do be hating on them. You know what I'm saying? And certain shit. So you can't you can't hate the way they feel. You know what I'm saying? Cause I see it both sides. I can't hate the way the young niggas feel. And on some shit with some of the old niggas, I can't hate the way they feel. Cause I kind of see their standpoint. But like once again, bro, it's not about Nigga, this is, this is a fucking business, nigga. Fuck the emotions, nigga. We supposed Man. to make this shit work. You know what I'm saying? Come Regardless, on. bro, this is a machine. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't go inside a GMC and goddamn just feel like, because I don't like you, we ain't finna work today. Nah, nigga, this is a machine. Nigga, I don't give a damn if this nigga just slept with your girl or you caught this and this. Y'all work in the same office. Get this shit done or get the fuck out. And them niggas stand and getting it done. And that's what we need to be on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Generate yeah. wealth, bro. Generate wealth and keep shit going. Give niggas directions. You know what I'm saying? And niggas just a ear. You know what I'm saying? Get, let niggas vent. Give niggas guidance, bro. I think we finna be real good. I know we finna be real good. Back. So the one thing you did do is you got out and then a pandemic hit. COVID happened and then nigga uh, Lucci up and he on. God damn it. Shit, we in there. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I wanna this this rock star got me kind of lit. Hey, I, I, I was about to say, I saw you waste another cup, nigga. Yeah, wait, How hey, many hey, cups this nigga finna hey, waste, goddamn, man? You goddamn, know what I'm saying? Roxa got me lit. But Shout out to Roxa, goddamn it. It's the program. It's the goddamn business right now. Yeah. I want a what's the name, though, man. I, uh, fat, come fuck with me, bro. Yeah, you know fat, what I'm fat, saying? Fat, 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 come, come hey, step in real bro. quick you know before we end up. Before we end this whole goddamn... Because, uh, yeah, nah, shit. Yeah, move, move that table over real quick, because... It's an SMB situation, man. You know what I'm saying? God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. You already know what the fuck going on. We nigga need no introduction. Big SMB. We here, man. Big situation going the on, biggest, god damn it. The biggest. Uh we're gonna save an interview for Fat himself, you know what I'm saying, to bring the whole goddamn conglomerate on, man. But Lucci, real quick, as we get out of here, tell us the importance of this man right next to you, you know what I'm saying, as far as what he meant to the north, man. Hey, like a lot of niggas don't know, fool. You know, it's always niggas behind the scenes. It's always niggas in the scenes. And it's always niggas on the sideline. This nigga done been in the scene the whole time since nigga, well, he was there before I there. You know, I came to the crook, you know what I'm saying? Around 97, 98, you know what I mean? Fucking with uh, Rippler through the music. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. bro, bro, bro been there since the beginning. You know what I mean? From from the crook to the trace on and out. And like, um, you might not know him musically or you might not know him through whatever, but nigga, in the streets, nigga, this is family, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and niggas know it, nigga, you know it. You're holding the mic, you know what Come I'm on, saying? Come on, and like, but 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 we from the spotlight on that, it's certain shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, hum, bro go hard, bro, but bro is a real reason behind a lot of that shit. Like, uh, well, especially when I was gone, he's behind, uh, like he kept the North riding. He was one of the only niggas still riding with three when we was out here doing, when, when the shit was going on. He was one of the only older niggas that stepped back and started a label, you know what I'm saying? Because he was Stony facts. Crook. We was out Stony Crook, you know what I'm saying? The rapper but, himself got that yeah, go in. He stepped back and uh, started the label, you know what I'm saying? The SMB and start putting out the niggas like the Peach Heads. He's the first nigga to put out the Peach Heads and the, yeah. and, 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 and the Moonies and the, uh, yeah. you know, like just shit. Q, you know what I mean? He, 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 he see the vision, bro. He been out there, bro, you know what I'm saying? So this is one of the biggest parts of the North, you know what I mean? And still running. He ain't got a mic on right now, but we want to put a face on that, man. Goddamn, uh, shit, I'll hand him a mic, nigga. <laughs> shit, no, we worked that. Nah, nah yeah. Really, we yeah. hand that. You know what I'm saying? That, that ain't nothing but a technical. That ain't nothing but a little bit. Hey, nah, for real. Nah, 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 straight, nah, nah, ain't nothing but a little bit. Hey, little stack straight, real quick. Now, nah, hey, hey, snap that right to your hoodie, bro, my nigga, for real. Now, stack, hey, while, while we got you, my nigga, 
because like Lucci just said, bro, you've been nothing but the NOF embodied. Like we was like nigga was looking for like how do we still have a foothold in this motherfucker? You was that nigga that was not only for Christmases, for, 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 yeah, yeah, not for giving it up to I read, I read. Say, say. Now you was niggas, you was that nigga holding it the fuck down, man, my nigga. First and foremost, we're gonna have a whole situation with you on this couch, but why you sitting next to this man? I want you to give him his flowers. I read. As he's been doing this thing since umpteen years, you know what I'm saying? Shit, man, we 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 motivate each other. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's days where, you know what I'm saying, he might be a little down or I might be a little down. We pick each other up, man, and, and hold his torch for this north. You know what I'm saying? Because, shit, like I say, I've been in North Dallas since shit. I was born. You hear me? Mm. And I'm going to hold that shit down. You know what I'm saying? And, and keep holding it down. You know what I'm talking about? Not so, free. shit, uh, man, salute to Lucci, man. Keeping keeping each other relevant, keeping him relevant, keeping the north relevant. and. And pushing, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how this how this nigga be pushing me. You know what I'm saying? He say I'll be motivating him, but shit, this a tough act to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? In order to, to keep up with him, shit, you gotta be working. So shit, man. We we out here working for the north and for the city. You know what I'm saying? Now you say that now, Stack, you know, you you put down the bars yourself. You rap yourself, my nigga, but you oh, didn't yo. you didn't took a step back and start putting some niggas in front of you, goddamn it, that been making motherfucking noise. The SMB situation has been crazy, my nigga. Right, really. I want to give you time to just really quick touch on the SMB situation in North Dallas. For niggas that feel like North Dallas is in any kind of situation, you've been holding the fuck down. I want you to give, you, give your flowers to your squad real quick, man, to your team. All right, ready. First, first and foremost, I want to uh, salute Mooney 900. You know what I'm saying? Mooney! Who set this Big shit Mooney. up. Set this shit up. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about really no, set it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about... He introduced me to uh, Lil Q 900, you know what I'm saying? Lil Q. Cautious C, you know what I'm saying? EJ, 3K, oh, you know what I'm saying? Cautious EJ, 3K. You know what I'm saying? And shit, uh, also shit, Peachhead, you know what I'm saying? Peachhead and Mooney, they they jumped it off with their gang talk, you know what I'm saying? Nah, and big we facts. got a lot of motion with that, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, salute to my squad, bro. They they make it easy not to rap, because I'm a rapping motherfucker. I love rapping, you know what I'm saying? But long as they rocking how they rocking shit, I ain't got to rap. Now, while I got you on the couch, I got to ask you, how was it to f set off that North Me remix? Just getting back in that motherfucking bag. Oh, put a little nigga on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, I know. I knew with that song right there, shit, they got to come on with it. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? You got to come on with it because there's so many legendary motherfuckers that's on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And then Mooney had already set it up with the original North Me Up. So, you know, nigga had to come on with it and shit. I'm glad y'all like it. You feel me? Not for real. Now, while we on camera, man, uh, it's going into Christmas season, going to the holiday season. Is the SMB situation going to do anything for the families, for the kids out there this this year, this holiday season? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. We got to keep it going, man. Shit, all God right. going to make a way. We going to do it. And that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. All right, ready. All right you already know what it is, man. Uh, uh, Stack, while you got the mic, man, I want you to tell them how to get at your platform, how to get at any of your artists. How to get at any situation? I mean, goddamn it, the uh, throw go concert. Oh, I, I don't want to talk about it. It's a show. It's a concert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that movie was fucking sucking nigga rap. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what throw go means, but I'm willing to find out. Uh, tell them how to get at you, man. How to follow you? How to uh, you know see what the fuck going on? See, you follow me on uh, Instagram at stack mode underscore fats. Stack Mode Brothers, all one word, you know what I'm saying? On Facebook, you can look me up on Stack at Stack Mode Fast. Then also follow my artists, you know what I'm saying? Look Q nine hundred L A H Q nine zero zero. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, also uh Mooney Mooney nine hundred, you know what I'm saying? Follow Mooney nine hundred. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Caution C two one four on yeah, Instagram. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Emmanuel Anderson, you know what I'm saying, EJ three K. The next champ, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Shit, Dance. we, yeah. we Dance. out here, man. We we locked in, man. And uh, also make sure you follow my nigga, Mr. Lucy, man. Cause shit, we we a team with this shit, man. We gonna keep on pushing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what should you get your throat goat for Christmas? What should you get a throat goat for Christmas? What do you get a throat goat for Christmas? Oh, shit, you know what I'm like saying? A like a premium throat goat. Man. Shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, God, one thousand. What do you give a person who has everything? She already got a throat. You don't need to, she don't need shit else. She got that throat. <laughs> no gag reflex. Like, bitch, you the one. You the one. All right, well, with that being said, 
Stack, any shout outs you want to give? Man, I want to give shout out to the whole city, to the culture. We killing culture vultures, you know what I'm saying? And we putting on for the north, you know what I'm saying? One step at a time, one day at a time, but we coming. You hear me? We ain't going nowhere. We coming. Talk about it. All right. Pass that mic back to uh, Lucci because I got to get these goddamn outros. Uh, Lucci. God damn it, my nigga, my nigga, bro, for a blessing. Say, so, hey, man, take, take go ahead, go and give the uh, Go and give the, 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 the IGs or whatever the fucks. All right, man, y'all go ahead and follow your boy, Mr. Lucci Dallas, on all platforms, man. Mr. Lucci Dallas on everything. Y'all uh, tap in on that rock saw, homie, man. Take it on that new exotic pop. You know what I'm saying? We out here working, bro. Tap in any artist. I don't give a damn what city you from, whatever, bro. We got shit going on, man. Tap in Club One Thirteen, bro, man. One of the hottest new after hour spots in the <clears> city, bro. So new Ti. Yes, it's the new Ti, yeah. bro. Y'all tap in, man. We got Motion Fridays where all artists performing, bro. We 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 rock out, man. We break music. We got good ass uh, saucy Saturdays with DJ Papa Run. You know what I mean? We got WAP Wednesdays where we feel go <clears throat> right now where the Thought Goat contest at. You know what I'm saying? With the dancers. And we also got Thirsty Tuesdays. But we got shit shaking, man. You know what I'm saying? So just tap in, man. And if y'all want to... Uh, y'all also uh, be on the lookout uh, for the Motion Mondays, bro. Motivational Mondays. So check yeah. check the feed, new podcast. man. Because, yeah, the new podcast. Because we're going to be letting it know every week, weekly, man. Every Monday, man. It's going to be a, it's, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. Come get your, come get your brain fed. You feel me? Need that motivation, man. Any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, man. Shout out to Dallas, man. Shout out to the whole city as a whole, man. Shout out to any and everybody that ever put any effort inside of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially the ones that ain't never got nothing out of it. You know what I'm talking about? I, I thank everybody for uh, rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Tom, uh, my nigga Tom and Tuck, man, and George yeah. Lopez for bringing us out on that trill fest, bro, and uh, yeah. shit, man. Just uh. Nigga, shout out to the city, bro. Just watch what we do, man. Yeah. All, all that, all that city ain't uh together, nigga. Man, stop listening to that bullshit ass narrative, nigga. City rocking with each other. Y'all just getting glimpses of what motherfuckers want to show y'all, nigga. City rocking with each other. Otherwise, nigga, everybody be dead. Believe if, that. You know what I'm saying? If you young niggas needed some OGs and enough to look up to, they're right here. Mm. This is the best part of this shit, man. Y'all are the real life street stars. Look that shit. Back. Ah. Man, now. Yes, sir. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.